A 12 year old and four teenagers arrested and charged today in a number of crimes reported on the CTA. Three of them turned themselves into police last night. Our Tara Molina is live in the newsroom for us. And Tara, you sat down with a pastor who encouraged them to go to police and even brought them to the police station. That's right, Joe. Pastor Corey Brooks saw the photo of the offenders police were looking for and recognized all of them. He connected with three of their parents and brought them into police. Now he says the real work begins. As soon as I saw the picture, um, my heart sank. I was hurt. Take a look at your screen and you'll see the photo that made Pastor Corey Brooks heart sink. Surveillance images released by Chicago police of suspects in what they called a dangerous armed robbery. I know all the kids in the pictures. Brooks you know, leads New Beginnings Church and the community uh, activist group Project Hood. He says these kids have been involved in their programming. I didn't have to wait to contact the parents. The parents contacted me. And Brooks brought three of the kids you saw in those photos to the police station to turn themselves in Monday night. And what were the kids thinking at that time? They were a little upset with me. Um, but they know I love them and I talked to them about that. The three ages 12, 13 and 15, all charged with felony armed robbery for robbing an 18 year old woman at gunpoint on a train here at the 47th Green Line station earlier this month. Allegedly, it is a, uh, a, a, a fake gun. Two other teens arrested for several more incidents on CTA property, a 16 year old and 14 year old. We mapped out the incidents to show you the scope of the crimes these five teens are behind, according to police. But what about the others photographed here? Brooks says their families weren't cooperative. We reached the state's attorney's office and the chief judge's office for more information on these underage offenders. They couldn't provide it. But Brooks says for the three kids he brought in and their families, the work is only just beginning. Our goal is to make sure that they don't continue down a path of destruction. Our goal is to intervene and help them to become the best that they can possibly be. Coming up at six, we take a closer look at crime on the CTA and how these cases play a role in the robberies we've been tracking. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News Chicago. Joe. Tara, thank you very much.